Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe even leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps with the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon. I've included a link in the description that'll take you directly to the product page, where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product is absolutely perfect if you have a lot of data that you are needing to store, you're looking to back up your files, or maybe you have a bunch of old hard drives that you want to access the information on, and that is, it is a four bay hard drive enclosure. So this was sent over by a company called Wavelink, and it's really, really cool. So first off, naturally, it's gonna come in this little box right here. Once you open it up, you are gonna get a quick start guide. We're going over all the features here in the video. It is just gonna plug into a standard outlet. You're gonna get just a nice little plug here, um, and then you're obviously you're gonna get a nice little brick adapter. And then you are also gonna get two little um, cables. This is how you're gonna connect it to your computer or your laptop, or if you need to connect any other external devices, or if you wanna link multiple of these together because you can do that and make kind of your own little server if you will. But you're gonna get a USB C to C cable and a USB 3.0 to a USB C cable. So you get two little cable attachments here. Uh, and then you're also gonna get a little baggie full of screws. This is how you're going to attach the hard drives so that way they don't slide open or out um, and make them more stable if you will and they include a little screwdriver. But like I said, this is ideal for backing up your files because you can just kind of plug it in and set it up. This is not a RAID system, so it's not going to hook up automatically. This is more of a manual backup where you can just set it up to where that external hard drive is just a, a, a drive on your computer and a remote and you go and you manually go and change that. But as you can see, it's just a nice little compact size. It's all made out of a nice a little aluminum housing here. It's got the little two handles on the top. Give you an idea of the size. It is about five inches wide, about six and a half inches tall, and the depth of it is about seven and a quarter inches. You'll notice on the back, it does have two fans. So that way it's gonna suck in air on the other side um, or, or suck in air at the fans and then blow across. So that way it's keeping that heat moving, which is really, really nice feature. Now also on the back, you're gonna be able to see, you'll have the power button will light up and you're gonna see your HDD one, two, three, and four drives. You can manually control them. You'll notice there's little switches so you can manually turn on the various drives, which once again is great for backups. Maybe you just wanna have one plugged in, but you don't access it very often. That means you don't have to have it running all the time. Now this particular setup here can use the three and a half inch drives or the two and a half inch sizes. If you use a smaller size, you do need to have the bracket if you want it to be more stable. Um, just keep that in mind. I, I have a solid state one in here. And um, personally, I think it's fine. But you know, if you wanna be a little bit more safer, uh, go ahead and do that. And you'll notice it just slides out is how you operate it. The bottom part is where you can put in those um, screws to make it stable so it doesn't slide out. But you can see, you can go ahead and attach it here. This is the smaller size. Now this will do your HDD drives, or as you can see right here, I have the SSD drive. So it does do both. The maximum that it can hold is 88 terabytes. So just keep that in mind. But you're gonna have four different slots for four different drives, and they're all labeled here so you know which ones you are plugging in. Uh, so that way you can access it. It says on the sides of where you are sliding them in. It's also at the top. So that way you know which buttons to turn on when you are operating it, but very, very easy to utilize. Now you'll notice here on the back, you'll have your Type-C connection. You're gonna have your other Type-C, which is gonna go to your PC. You have your uh, power, uh, basically port, and then you have your full on off switch. And then you can, like I said, individually customize your specific drives. Now it also does have an HDMI port. So if you do wanna access HDMI content through here, like you're gonna to wanna to play, like let's say you have movies on this drive and you wanna be able to stream them, you can do that. It does support up to 4K HDMI and the port is rated for that um, 60 Hertz uh, as far as the res, you know, as far as the speed there. So um, it works very, very well. As I mentioned earlier too, you can daisy chain these, which you'll use through the uh, type C connection point. If you wish, you can have up to three of these tied together, uh, which once again, that's a lot of hard drives tied together, but that is an option for you. If you are not utilizing this to help save energy, so like the drives are not being accessed, 
after 15 minutes, it will automatically turn off and then reactivate um, as need be. But overall, I like it because it's able to access my old drives, especially from past computers as I've upgraded and whatnot. And then I like to store a lot of photos and whatnot off of it, my computer, so that way they're nice and safe and I can utilize them as backups. They're all right here, easy to access. So overall, if you are looking for just a great, uh, nice hard drive enclosure for your storage, this one is totally worth checking out. If there's something I haven't quite covered that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do take to respond to those. That is it till the next video. You guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.